Hey, what's up, guys? Sorry, I haven't been making um, as many reviews as normal. I have a baby, so it's really hard to get that little extra time <coughs> squeezed in. But uh, eventually, I'll get all my reviews done on the Backwood cigars and the Foos e cig. I'll get all those done. I'll probably do a couple of those uh, later night inside. Oh, hey, you know, everyone's asleep and. It's not so hectic in the background because it my house is very noisy. Okay, so today is a very popular request, and I'm finally getting to it. Camel filters, and I have had a lot of requests for these cigarettes. I took the cellophane off so you guys can get a better look at it because it says <clears throat> I got these 75 cent off or 75 cents off. You guys can see that right there, <clears throat> and you couldn't really see the package itself is covering it up anyway it says camel right there filters camel filters right there and the filters is inside a little ribbon it looks like something like that a uh, little camel in the middle of a circle um, white sky desert floor big pyramid small pyramid and of course the three palm trees and it says on the front right here uh, since 1913 Turkish domestic blend <clears throat> and then on the back it says the illustrator of the first camel pack never even saw a camel before the circus came to town and the original camel posed for a picture how'd it go flip the pack to see for yourself well yeah it must be just that was the pose <laughs> regular camel little picture of the dude and the camel and yeah, of course, got the little circle right there with the little motel, palace, or whatever you want to call it. <coughs> okay, let's open these, let's get these bad boys up open. Oh, and I got a Camel Rewards. Unwrap the Camel Rewards. I guess it's the 99th birthday, hump day. Anyway, I guess I'll keep that, I don't know. Okay, I just... Right there, I like how it says, now that's a camel. <laughs> that's pretty cool. It says camel right there in gold. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. Go ahead and take that out. <clears throat> oh, almost forgot to pack them again. Go ahead and give these a decent pack. Give them a decent pack. I like my camels packed pretty good. Alright, that should be good enough. If not, sorry about my own luck. Because I'm taking one out. Okay. Oh, shit. I don't know if somebody got a hold of my pack and just packed the hell out of them, but let me see if it did it. Damn. He's packed like a mofo. I mean, I got a good almost a half inch down on that quarter inch. I don't know if you guys can see through it. But I got that shit packed far. Now I'll get a lot of paper taste. It has a really good quality tobacco smell to it. I noticed that right when I opened it up. And the filter kind of short compared to like a Marlboro Red. Let's see if I can get a Marlboro Red filter. Uh, maybe not. Maybe the same size. This is just a cigarette butt. I know, dirty. It actually looks like it is about the same size, so I was wrong. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and spark this baby up with my piece of shit Red Zippo. Hopefully it works. Well, got a good taste of the paper. Um, not bad, kind of a little bit of nothing. I'm going to go ahead and take another pop of this and then another pull of this and see how the tobacco tastes. Smooth. It has a very, 
I'm going to be a little uh, descriptive on this. Robust. Yeah, robust. Has a really good, um, almost like a, like a spice flavor. Like something you cook with, I don't know. Yeah, has a very clean taste. But Camel does uh, do very good at making their products. Camel is very good. I like Marlboro's, and then from there on, I like Camel's. My favorite Camel that I've run across uh, so far would have to be the Turkish Royal. Um, that is by far the best Camel I've ever had so far. But these, these has a, ha, this has a very good taste. Smooth on the inhale. I'm gonna go. Ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and see how the body is. Decent body. Um, not quite as big as a Marlboro Red. Not quite as. Not quite as. Um, oh, what's the word I'm thinking? Thinking of. Um, <clears throat> It's not quite as thick. The, the smoke isn't as thick as a Marlboro Red. When you when you take a drag of a Marlboro Red, you get that a whole sensation of the body in your mouth. This has a nice body, but not as big as a Marlboro Red. And it is kind of lacking on the burn part. It's not burning very... I mean, it's burning a little bit even. It's just a little bit blotchy right there on the front. No big deal, though. I mean... I won't take too many points off for it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take a nice deep inhale. Okay, a little bit of harshness, but not much. Um, smoother than a Marlboro Red. It doesn't taste anything like a Marlboro Red. That's just what I, when I compare cigarettes to a Marlboro Red... I smoke Marlboro Reds on a daily basis. Oh, there goes my cellophane. Let me pick that up real quick. Oh, it's too far. Alright, <laughs> okay, so, yeah, like I said, I compare all my cigarettes, all my full flavor cigarettes to a Marlboro Red on the body, the taste, the aroma, and all that stuff, just because I smoke it, and I'm used to that one more than any other cigarette. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the ratings with this one, guys. Body. I'll give the body a 7.5. Uh, flavor, taste, and aroma. Sorry about the wind. Flavor, taste, and aroma. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Good quality cigarette. And quality, I'm going to give it a 8.5 as well. So, let's see. Average. Uh, whole Kabam rating. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for the Camel filters. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Any suggestions? And take her easy. Peace out, guys.